I remember being in sixth grade, and they said, you can take French or Spanish. I really had no experience with either, and I said, oh, let's try Spanish. And it's true, something just, something just clicked. It seemed, it seemed really kind of exciting through those classes. That's when I decided that I actually wanted to go to a Spanish-speaking country. In the back of my mind, I mean, what's, what's really the worst that could happen? If the worst that happens is that I go back to where I was before, or I find a new job, or I get a different apartment, I mean, if that's the worst, I mean, that's, that's not too bad at all. I think that's what enabled me to then make like a bigger step, like decide to go to Ecuador. I've arrived in many cities knowing no one. You force yourself to just go up to someone who looks <laughs> friendly enough and say, hi, what, what are you up to? And I'm Shayna, and I uh, would like to go get a coffee or something. And I've done that many, many, many times. And I have wonderful friends um, because of that. Now I look back where I feel like I was always supposed to have gone to Ecuador because I will always have a connection to that country. I lived there for two years. My husband's from Ecuador, I met him there, and my children will be Ecuadorian. I want to just dive in. I just want to go for it. I just want to see what will happen. And it's really exciting when you don't know exactly where you're going to end up.